This is absolutely awesome. <laughs> the assembly here with all the wonderful young women. Our class was so small, and this is so impressive and lovely to see you all after all these years. You're here in our tradition after us in our footsteps. I would like to just read a little of the letter that the sisters gave us at our graduation. Congratulations and our ladies' choicest blessings for each white clad senior who is leading Xavier. May the years to come enrich youthful ideals, bringing them to full maturity in a successful life that is but the preparation for life eternal. Tonight, diploma in hand, you face unflinchingly confident in your dream of happiness. Tomorrow, you are part of that future. As a woman of sterling character, you must pray for courage and strength to fight temptations that would engulf you in the mesh of modern materialism. In this year of Jubilee, our Holy Father reaches out to you, the youth of the church. Isn't this familiar? <laughs> Relying on your example to impress fundamental truths on the hearts of those with whom you live in his grace that Christ ever dwells within you. On a warm uh, May evening in 1950, in the patio of Brophy Chapel, 14 girls graduated from Xavier High School. The first class to attend all four years. It was such a new school. We were pioneers in this wonderful school of Xavier. The entire school at that time was housed on one floor of what is now part of Brophy Prep. There were fields and some neighborhoods where we were sitting. The nuns wore habits. We wore plaid skirts, white blouses, bobby socks, and saddle boxers. It's not that different. <laughs> Over those four years, we not only received a Catholic education, but we attended dances. Together, we swam on the swim team and played softball and sang in the choir. Some of us married after graduation and raised families. We are now grandmothers and great-grandmothers. We went to college, moved away, moved back, but we developed as a class a legacy of lasting friendships. The BVM sisters sent us on our way that day with a wonderful hearty prayer. God bless you. God keep you. God love you always. It is my pleasure this morning and an honor to thank you for honoring us at this assembly of the school, the class of 1950. 